Good day friends, I am Dr. Kapil Salgia, a practicing chess physician and a sleep consultant with the Bombay Hospital and Medical Research Center, Mumbai. Today I would like to share some information on obstructive sleep apnea which is a part of sleep related breathing disorders. So what is sleep apnea? Sleep apnea is a disease when you stop breathing for a transient period of time during your sleep. And this stoppage of breathing is associated with a drop in oxygen levels which is known as hypoxia. So what happens if I have sleep apnea? If I have sleep apnea, I am at a higher risk to develop a cardiac disorder, cardiac failure, a paralytic attack or uncontrolled hypertension or predisposed to renal failure. So who is at a higher risk to develop sleep apnea? Obesity is the commonest risk factor for sleep apnea and almost more than 50% of the population who are obese have a predisposition to have sleep apnea. Apart from that, people with dental abnormalities or abnormalities of the upper respiratory tract can also develop sleep apnea. So what are the symptoms? What do I look out for? So snoring is the most commonest symptom for sleep apnea where it normally gets picked up and sometimes the snoring is so loud that it can be heard in the adjoining rooms and a lot of people are ashamed or inhibited to sleep in a common dormitory or while traveling by flight. Apart from that, excessive daytime sleepiness, feeling lethargic and tired the entire day, breathing from the mouth, saliva drooling from the mouth or recurrently waking up to pass urine and abnormal sexual life are common symptoms of sleep apnea. How is it diagnosed? So apart from the clinical history and examination and knowing that a person is obese, a simple test like a sleep study can be done which is available at a hospital setup or at home, which will tell you that you have sleep apnea and then depending upon the severity of sleep apnea, it can be treated. Weight reduction is the first important part for treatment of sleep apnea and following that, the use of CPAP or BiPAP devices, that is the non-invasive ventilator devices. So friends, if someone is obese or if you have symptoms of snoring, kindly see your physician and to rule out underlying sleep apnea to lead a healthier life.